Okay, guys. What I found was, uh, so I was going over the whole notes thing over again. I've been researching this whole thing over and over again. And I was really looking for, you know, the smoking gun, and then I found it. It was in, right in front of us all along. As you go down to the bottom of the drawings, ha, ah, there it is. Note, pink bubble gum only. There it was. It was out on the drawings all along. Pink bubble gum. The guy is getting paid two million, one million dollars minimum, and he was right. It was pink bubble gum. So that's so you guys that make fun of me uh, with uh, some of my analogies. Well, uh, you know it's pink bubble gum is the answer. Let me give you the short version before for the for this this afternoon's teaser. All right, so our drape we have a drape over here that I'm going to talk to you about. A second, a primary drape and a secondary drape. The uh, the first drape primary is actually this column. Let me get this right. Pull back. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah. Do, do, do. So our primary drape is here. This creates this uh, a break, a fracture in the deck here. George is going crazy. Oh, that's Bruce tearing apart something in there. So if you guys want to see my boy George. George, I know you hear him out there, don't you? So, our primary break, he's spinning around the chair now. So our primary, we have a primary break over here. As it pulls down from the top of the deck, it then takes a, se it separates some of the, uh, the decking there. You'll look at those from the air photographs, and you'll be looking from that direction down. And you'll see that there's a crack in the deck there. So that, that is the, primary where it tried to stop before it pulled away from the construction joint. So that construction joint actually did some did some work there with that rebar that was on the underside. It did some serious work holding on. Back here we'll talk about the uh, there's a hole here that accesses below deck. Well, I, that you access to go below deck. And that's the planter box. There's also a upper level uh, fencing system here that's higher than this fencing system. I guess because of the elderly, elderly people there do parkour also, and they climb up on the walls, and they had to stop them from falling down from this side, the parking garage side. Get out of the car, you're doing a little exercise, you're having a little fun, you jump up on the wall. That stopped them from doing that. Because on the pool side, I guess after you're swimming, you don't have that same uh, interest to climb on the walls by the grass over here, I guess. Um, so, you know, hey, a pink bubble gum, why can't I make fun too? So, there's the hole access I'm talking about. It's significant in size um, right here. Now, it's all significant right about here. This part of the deck, if you look at the images, has a torque of rotation on it. Separate from uh, the rest of the deck, it's turned inwards. But we do have our, uh, our, our ability to do that because we have this opening in the deck. <sighs> So this could have been retrofitted to have the BMAs be placed in. BMA type material placed in this. Could have been retrofitted to take that. And they, it all comes down to pink bubble gum. Is that they should have used pink bubble gum and not, uh, what was the other color? What was the other bu uh, bubble gum color? All right. So I want you also to look at the images. There's the view of the, and I'll, this is a teaser video, and I'll do a real video showing the other photographs. But I want you guys maybe to go track it down. But you'll also see over here where the deck, where the building collapsed, you'll see proof of concept about drape between two columns. When this goes down, this is sagged here between these two, between these two here. Nope. Between these two here. When the building comes down, it sags between these two. So you have a proof of concept that it will strain um, in multiple directions and create a sag. So look at the aerial shots. Yes, the building could create it. It doesn't matter. The point is um, you see the beginning of puncture happening. If you look at that sag, if you look at the sag, do some work here. Look, at, look for the aerial shots. Look over there. You'll see the sag. That's the beginning and the stop of punk shearing around these columns here. It broke free. It had no more, it could hold, it had no more, uh, um, the, uh, it found equilibrium 
at that point with the steel that went to, went across and especially this probably this deck over here out pulling it across holding it across the top there but this one is very interesting indeed just to look at so you can see the beginning and freeze in time of what puncture begins begins as i don't care if the building created it or or it was part of this collapse but i want you to look at it look at that over there from the aerial shots and now you'll start visualizing the columns. Now I'll do better, better for you on that. I'll do better for you on that. And here's a reveal, a reveal, a reveal. There we go. We're going to end the video with beautiful George and his paws. Remember pink bubble gum. Right, Georgie? It's pink bubble gum. So you guys missed it. It was right on the drawings all along. Right on the drawings all along. Pink bubble gum. <laughs> Who would have thought? Papa Smurf called it.